Flower fans make pilgrimages to public gardens, including the 171-acre Tower Hill Botanic Garden in Boylston, Mass. When I listen to people walking around, they're actually talking about the plants. They're talking about their home gardens. They're not talking about, you know, their neighbor or their friends. I think that's an escape for people. Erin Doolittle is an outdoor display gardener at Tower Hill. It's incredibly satisfying to be able to kind of come up with a vision for my garden and then execute it and just continually learning. I mean, there's nothing more complicated than nature. <laughs> We asked Doolittle for some basic gardening tips, including how to look after famously finicky roses. Rule number one, throughout the summer, remove those dead blooms. You go to where you have five leaves on the leaf stalk. Mm -hmm. So, and then you cut right above that. And that will encourage new growth right there? Yes, and you see how something's coming up there, something yeah. fresh? Yeah, Is this something you'd be doing every day, every week? No, it's gonna keep blooming with or without this treatment, but it will bloom more prolifically if you do it. To maintain plant health, keep the area around the roses clean, advises Doolittle. When winter arrives, they need protection from the cold. So you pile up wood chips, I'll pour a bucket of wood chips on top of each rose. Really? Just around the crown, which is where it emerges from the ground, and then leave that for the winter. Mm -hmm. Spring comes, you just spread it out. You yeah. wanna reveal the crown again. A favorite garden workhorse is Nepeta, or Catmint. I highly recommend it. It's probably been blooming for at least three weeks so far. You could actually cut it all the way back and have it reflush entirely. Before buying new plants, says Doolittle, also check your soil's moisture as well as shady and sunny spots. Then I would suggest think about contrast and color coordination. Are you all about texture, foliage? Are you all about color, what colors you like? And then you also want to consider bloom time. You, know, you want things that work in the spring, you want things that come out in the summer, you want things that come out in the fall, so you kind of keep it all going for the seasons. And a tip from Erin, she says new flowers require water every day for the first few weeks. And all your other flowers, she says, don't be stingy. You gotta <laughs> water them quite a bit, about an inch a week at least. Wow. Let them dry out in between, but they'll soak it all off and they'll use it. Okay. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shana Seymour. Have a great evening. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.